welcome to the Student Blood Bank Lab. Me and my PPE, and we are going to go over, first thing, how to balance a centrifuge. So this is our basic blood bank centrifuge here. One thing I want to take note of here, notice there's a very long cord. You don't need to use the entire cord for this. If you unroll the whole thing and have it hanging back here, it becomes a trip hazard. So please only unroll what you need and leave the rest of it wrapped around the centrifuge, about like this. It's out of your way and it won't cause anybody to trip. Plug it in, lots of plugs on the back side. Okay, inside the centrifuge, we have a 12 space rotor. The 12 space rotor is good for either 12 by 75s or 10 by 75 tubes. And this is a new box and it's not open. And it's really easy to open your boxes with a pen if you have them, but you can also figure it out with your hand. So these are 10 by 75 tubes. In the classroom, we're gonna be using 10 by 75 tubes mostly and over, convert over to 12 by 75. So it's easier for new people to see agglutination reactions with 10 by 75. Okay, balancing two tubes, seems basic. Yeah, put them across from each other. It is balanced to operate the centrifuge. So you can't have one. This would be off balance, balanced. Close the centrifuge till it clicks. Turning it on, we spin all reaction tubes for 15 seconds. So you're going to turn it past 15 and then back to 15. Can't see where 15 is from here. <laughs> you're good. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so it will spin for 15 seconds. If you have it balanced, notice it just spins. If it's not balanced, the centrifuge will start going and you'll know it's not balanced. The easiest way to stop it if you have it unbalanced is just unlatch the lid. It will immediately stop the motor from going and it will calm down it will stop spinning. So you don't need to do this, just unlatch it like this. If it's off balance, quickest way to stop your tubes. Okay, that's balance. If you want to balance three, this is how you balance three. So these are equally spaced around the rotor and they will be balanced when we turn the centrifuge on. So three with three spaces in between. Okay, spinning it, again, turn it past 15, back to 15, and we're good to go. Again, if I wanted to stop it quickly, if it was unbalanced, just unlatch the lid. It immediately will turn it off, the motor off. Don't have to slow down. Okay, so we've now seen how to balance two and how to balance three. If you need to balance four, it would be just like balancing two, only we're going to do two across from each other. It's best to put your tubes together like this and not balance them like this. It's better to balance them like this. It's easier to take them out quicker, more efficient. So if you're going to balance four, these two are across from each other, these two are across from each other. Okay, pretty basic. Okay, we're going back to balancing three here. We've balanced three here. If we want to balance five tubes, this seems like it won't match, but these three are balanced. Now we're going to put two straight across from each other. Those are balanced. This is balanced. This is how you balance five tubes. There we go. It's balanced. Okay, if I want it to stop quickly, again, just unlatch it. Normally you would let it go all the way to 15 seconds to finish its um, compacting of cells before you read. Okay, so now we have, this is how you balance five tubes. Obviously, if you want to balance six tubes, it would just be a little group of three. Three empty is three together. There's six. If we want to balance seven, again, let's go back to our balancing three. So again, three spaces in between, three are balanced. If we want to do seven, we would just do those four tubes straight across from each other. There we go, that's balanced. There we go. Okay, same with nine. If we wanted to balance nine, we're just going to add two more straight across from each other. There we go, 
balance for nine. So you'll be able to balance 10 by putting five together. Empty things are across from each other. There's 10 balanced. You can't balance 11. You're gonna have to use what they call a balance tube. Notice I put this one in upside down. I know it's my balance tube. So it doesn't work that way if these are all full. If these are all full, you're going to need to fill your balance tube with saline to match the levels. But the levels in the tube should be balanced as well. But if you're just spinning a couple drops in here, upside down one tells you that that's your balance tube. Makes it a little bit easier so you know where to start. That's balanced. So again, if you wanna spin one tube or 11 tubes, you're gonna to need to get an empty tube as your balance tube. Okay, that's how you balance your centrifuge. Thanks.